as I grow more in Jesus Christ, I believe I am learning more and more how loving he is, how very caring he is. I have also learned that living for Jesus Christ is the best thing. Even if it comes to my thoughts to do very bad things, and I'm not and I am not saying I am perfect, but I don't want to sacrifice all the time and effort I have put in in living for Jesus Christ. Let me say this, and I am not trying to scare anyone. I am not trying to discourage anyone either. I believe the more mature you get in Jesus Christ, the more problems you may have to encounter. For myself, I believe I may encounter stronger problems. Are all of my problems very strong? Probably not. Some may be weaker than others, but as it seems, I encounter stronger problems. But that is good though. I believe when we begin conquering those stronger problems, I believe we can go higher in Jesus Christ, if that makes any sense. I believe it. I think there are people who say that they want all the gifts of the Holy Spirit or something like that. Like they want the gift to prophesy and do this and do that. And that is good. That is very good. But I believe with those gift gifts, you may encounter a harder time. You may have to go through more things. You may have to sacrifice so much. Are you understanding what I am saying? If I am not mistaken, we may have to go through certain things when we have a particular gift. So I would say be very, very careful of what you ask for. For myself, back in the past, and maybe still now, I don't know, but let's say back in the past, I would ask God in prayer, like, how do I elevate? How do I become more stronger in him? And off and on, I would continue to ask that because that is something I want to do. I remember one day it came to my mind. It was as if it came out of nowhere, but I believe it came to my mind. Something like, the more you obey, the more you can elevate. I forget all of the words, but something like that. The more you obey, the higher you can go. I believe the higher level you elevate to, I would assume probably stronger problems will come. But that is not really a bad thing. I believe it is about maturity in Jesus Christ. There is nothing wrong with that. If problems do come your way, don't see it as a strange thing. Don't see it as something that should not happen. Problems will come. I think they are unavoidable. Think about the Apostle Paul. That man went through so many problems. Peter and them went through problems. Probably worse than we will ever go through, probably. Be careful of what you ask for. Am I trying to scare you? No. Am I trying to discourage you? Of course not. But I believe sometimes we may ask for things that we may not know much of. It kind of reminds me of marriage. <laughs> you may ask God for you to get married. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I believe in marriage, you may be presented with uh, problems that you 
probably did not expect. Can I say a new set of problems? Maybe some of it is new, but you may get more problems. Let me say it like that. You may become more stressed. Like, as it seems, it may feel like you are being tested more in marriage. Be careful of what you pray for. You may pray for something, and it may look good on the outside. But if you take a peek in the inside, which I don't think you really can, you may have to go through so many problems. You may have to struggle so much. You may have to go through some things that you probably did not have to go through before. Be careful of what you pray for. You can pray for something, and I believe God can give it to you if what you are praying for is not sinful. But the question is, can you handle it? Are you responsible? Are you long-suffering? Are you going to give up very quickly? The question is, can you handle it? Let me stop here. May God bless us.